Welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews. I am Eric, and today I'm going to be talking to you about this powerful little dongle from a company called CarLinkit. You might have heard of them before. Uh, this is a wired-to-wireless uh, CarPlay adapter. Uh, so we're in 2022, but there's still a ton of cars, even expensive luxury cars that come with CarPlay, but it's wired CarPlay, not wireless, which means every time you get in your car, you have to plug your iPhone into a cord in order to use CarPlay. And, you know, that's really kind of ridiculous and stupid that anyone is still making cars like that. But for various reasons, a lot of them are. So we recently uh, got a Genesis GV60, and sure enough, as state of the art as the uh, electronics and stuff in that car are it does not have wireless carplay it has wired carplay so i was on the search for a way to make that wired carplay wireless and car link at 3.0 came to the rescue now i'm just going to mention really quickly that before i got this i did have another one of the major brands out there that has a lot of great reviews but it did not work for our car um they brought this that particular brand brags about how quickly it connects and it did connect fast but then there was a lot of stuttering with the streaming of sound and it just it was you know it would work sometimes but more times than not it would not work crawling at 3.0 we connected it it connected easily and quickly once it got once we got it set up it's just been flawless we've had no issues with it and it has worked great it does take a little bit longer uh to connect initially when you get in your car but it's not terribly long it's any i'd say anywhere from uh 15 to 20 seconds is about it uh but i rather wait five to ten extra seconds and have it work than something that connects really fast but doesn't work and this works um You'll be able to see in the car once this is connected, everything works just the way that it would if we had uh, plugged the uh, iPhone directly in with a cord. And uh, you're able to use all the full functions of CarPlay, including using uh, Siri for voice actions and all that great stuff. It just works. And it's such a simple little small product. Uh, it does come in the box. You get the uh, CarLinkit dongle itself. And then you get two cords. You get a USB-C to USB-C, uh, and you get USB-C to uh, USB-A. Uh, in case you have an older car that still has USB-A for the uh, wired CarPlay, uh, they include both types of cords, so you're good to go. Uh, you plug it in. You plug it into your car. Uh, the first time uh, you set it up, you have to connect through Bluetooth. Uh, your phone connects to this, and then it sends all the information for the Wi-Fi, and that's it. After that, it just works. You get in your car. Subsequent times, you start it up. You get this screen that pops up that is the CarLink interface screen. It stays there for a few seconds, four to five seconds, and then it immediately transfers over into CarPlay and you don't have to do anything. It works great. You've got this great little light on there that indicates so you know when uh, everything is connected because it goes from red to green. Green letting you know that, hey, everything is good to go. And then it just works the way you would expect it to work. Like I said, we've been using it for quite a while now and unlike the one we had before from a different company, this one has worked great. We've had no issues with audio. Um, that includes not just listening to music, uh, but also uh, using it with uh, to make phone calls or to send texts through Siri, uh, all that stuff, and, and no issues at all. So uh, Carlink Kit 3.0 is great as far as I'm concerned. It is the best one. It works. Uh, it was simple to set up, and we've had no issues. It works in our brand new Genesis GV60, and since it has all the other high technology in the car already, this really brings it up to date by giving us wireless uh, car play. So now we can get in the car, we can either keep our phones uh, in our pockets, or take the phone out and put it in the uh, wireless charging uh, pocket in the car, and not have to plug it in, but still have full uh, access to CarPlay with no issues. So if you are looking for a wired to wireless adapter keep in mind your car has to already have carplay this just takes a wired carplay and turns it into wireless if you're looking for something to do that then i would highly recommend the carlink at 3.0 because like i said it has worked flawlessly for us and the one i tried before did not work at all so uh, this one works and it is definitely a product that i would recommend 
And that is going to be it for this review. If you like this review, please click that like button. If you don't know who might be interested in the product, share the video with them. All those ways are down there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, favorite this playlist, keep up with future product reviews. If you have any questions, just post them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. That is going to be it until next time. So be safe and be happy. Mm -hmm.